since I just wanted to take a few minutes, um, I normally speak, just to give a little background, I normally speak in this channel in, uh, in Spanish. So I wanted to take a few minutes. I've just finished doing a video now in English, in Spanish, sorry. But I wanted to take a, uh, a few minutes to speak about uh, Rosh Chodesh. Now, this is my first video at least on my website or on my fan page in English. I normally, again, speak in Spanish. I feel much more comfortable speaking in Spanish, but uh, my English is actually better, so it's uh, kind of ironic. Anyway, um, I wanted to give a few words regarding Rosh Chodesh Nisan, and in particular, the importance of joy. So I gave a video not too long ago, about uh, 60 seconds, about a concept called healthy borrowing. What does this mean? So what I mean by the concept of healthy borrowing is Rabbi Nata gives us an example of somebody who wants to purchase something. In the Kotei Al-Hot, he explains that if somebody wants to purchase something and they don't have the money, how do they buy it? For example, you want to buy a house. You need two hundred thousand dollars, and you need the bank says you need fifty thousand dollars down payment, right? Okay, so you have the down payment, but where do you get the other one hundred and fifty thousand dollars? Where do you get that money from? He explains that you take a loan today, so you can have money from the future that you would have earned through a period. Let's say an example of typical twenty-five to thirty years. You take that money you would have earned in the next twenty to thirty years and you borrow it today, you take future earnings, you borrow it today, and you use that money to pay for your home, right? So again, understand this concept. You take future earnings and you take it today based on something that you can be able to faithfully pay back. Well, there's also this concept in Judaism. In spirituality. How do I do that? Well, he explains that in Olam Abba, in the next world, there's going to be Kulotov, it's going to be completely good, only good. So if it's only going to be good, only going to be happiness. If you're lacking something today, we gave the example of money, but spiritually, you are lacking joy, borrow it from the future. Borrow it from the bank of all banks, Hashem Himself. Take the joy that you will have in the future, which will be a bliss like we can't even imagine. You can't even imagine a drop in the ocean of what this is going to be like. Take this and apply it to your life. Borrow it from the future world, and you will be able to live a life full of joy. You'll be able to live a life completely. Um, uh, take that concept and, and use it today. The best part is that you don't have to pay it back. How do you pay it back? The fact that you're happy right now is the way you pay it back. Hashem says in Psalm 100, Hashem Serve Hashem with joy. When we serve Hashem, the Creator, with joy, this is the form of quote-unquote payment to the Creator. So may we take this time of joy, Rosh Chodesh Nisan, this time of a month of complete joy, we do not say Tachanun during this month. We don't, don't say any any confession, at least in the Sidur. We do personal confession before the Creator, but no Sidur, no Tachanun. We don't say Psalm 20, Psalm 86, or certain Sukim that we don't say during prayer because it's a month of happiness. Take this month and invest. The best investment you can make is to invest in your joy, in your happiness. Because as Rabbeinu says, it's a very, very great mitzvah to be with joy at all times. So take that advice, go with it, roll with it, and don't let anything break you. Nothing discourage you. Keep going. Hashem loves you. He wants you to serve Him with joy. Serve Him with everything you got. Borrow it if you have to. That way you can see the results. You'll have an amazing joy. You'll be able to come out of your personal Mitzrayim. Hashem will take you out. Believe in it. Go with it. Go to the field. Speak to Hashem. 
You should have a month of joy. You should have everything Hashem wants you to have, both spiritually and materially. Parnasa. You should have children. You should have a spouse. You should have good income, health, and most of all, closeness to the Creator through Emunah, through speaking to the Creator with your own words. Thank you again. Have a great day. Chodesh Tov. We'll see you.